you know, the heat is back in Singapore, so we'll all start complaining about how hot our country is. But we are very lucky that that is our only problem. If you look around the world at all the bombings, at all the killings, at all the stabbings, we are a fortunate country. So let's pause a minute and find out what makes a terrorist. I believe very strongly that poverty creates terrorism. It has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with politics. When people feel that they are so marginalized and there's no hope for them, the only way is for them to lash out at you. If I were poor and with my great sense of fighting for the poor and the marginalized, I could easily get a gun and shoot you. I have said this to a minister that he must make sure that people in our country, especially those with strong sense of right and wrong, should not be made to feel marginalized because when they feel marginalized, they will do what they shouldn't be doing and that is to shoot you. You know, I'm always fascinated with these people who call themselves the NWC, National Wages Council. I wonder who they are and are they living in the right uh, level as we human beings or are they living in la-la land? They're asking to pay the lower income workers $45 to $60. What the hell can $45 to $60 do for somebody who is earning only $1,000 or $1,200? It's an insult to suggest that kind of increment. So who are these people at NWC? Let me suggest to you, please tell the government to pay the CPF portion of these people so they actually take back 1100 or 1200 and not add $40 or $60 and then minus their CPF which makes them l earn less than $1,000. Give me a break, NWC. Dr. General Puducherry fielding questions from an audience of 550 students. The students ask a very good question. Do we need an ethnically reserved presidential election? And what is this bright spark's reply? Oh, Singapore will not need the racially reserved presidency when Singaporeans are race blind and all underlying unrelated tensions no longer exist. We started SAP schools. We started uh, 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 speaking Mandarin, we started uh, putting people, putting a ratio on the uh, where people live. Uh, we, we started only poor cannot live together in an enclave. All the rich people in one area is okay. We started GRC. Over the past 50 years, with all this, this is my country, this is my song, it has become worse. Everybody is so conscious of who they are, what they are, and people are so segregated that they begin to realize that they are of different race and color, etc. And that is why we feel so racially divided. And let's get back to basic. We are all Singaporeans. And the poor young students being allowed to sleep for a little bit more before they go to school, I think it's a damn good idea. You must remember, we move our clocks half an hour earlier to match uh, Malaysia's time in 1982. So basically, we are having to wake up earlier and not with the sun. I believe that life starts when the sun rises. Because out in Kranji, the moment the sun rises, you can hear the birds singing, you can hear the roosters crowing, you can hear the puppies all getting up and yapping away, chasing each other and playing. And that's about the same time that I also wake up. And now that I live in Kranji, I notice that the sun only hits us almost at 7.30. Even at 7 is still dark because remember, we move our clocks half an hour early. So when it's 7 o'clock, it's still actually 6.30. So let's move all our activities to start at least an hour later or even half an hour later and allow people to wake up with the sun. 
like the birds do, like the roosters do, and like the puppies do. After all, children are like puppies, aren't they? They know when to sleep and they know when to wake up. You disturb a puppy when he's half asleep, he'll probably turn around and bite you. I believe if children don't sleep enough, that's where they all become cranky. And that's why we have a lot of kids who have health and stress issues. You know, this is one champion I could never really feel happy about. You know, you look at men, they are like dogs, you know, male dogs, you know, they always fight, fight, fight. And you look at men boxing each other to pieces and doing all evil things to each other. But when I watched these two women fighting, I was disgusted. We do not have to emulate everything that men do. It is good to be taekwondo trained, to be karate trained, to be judo trained, to be kickboxing trained, etc. For protection of yourself and to protect others. But when I watched this fight and when the opponent was down and she keeps punching this other girl in the head as if to destroy her, even my husband was disgusted and we both agreed that you know, there are certain things in life that we should stop from happening and two women fighting this way should be stopped. We have seen many punch-drunk men, including the famous Muhammad Ali. Do we want that to happen to some beautiful girl that at the end of her life, she's a punch-drunk person? It's disgusting. It's pathetic. Stop it! This lovely fellow To Chung, who gave up everything to start an uh, organization, an NGO, to help kids affected by AIDS virus. Now, this guy is truly a hero and somebody I am proud belongs to my country and is helping more and more people even outside my country. This beautiful blind girl and uh, having such a great sense of responsibility to be happy to pay income tax. Cassandra, I would happily pay your income tax. Come to my farm or give me a call. I know, I'm sure you know how to find me. I will also buy a bag of dog food for your dog every month. Ayo yo, my Indian friend, why you get so angry about small things like that? You know, this is an audition for a comedy. And people love to laugh about people and their habits. So don't get so worked up about it. You know, my name, my surname is Singh. I'm not a Sikh, but my husband keeps making Sikh jokes about me. Uh, and uh, his friends will also send him all these sick jokes and say, darling, look at all these sick jokes that is so funny. And we just laugh about it. You know, when we were young, it was always a joke to call, if you see an Indian, hey, mama, how are you? Hey, bai cho. You know, things like that happens all the time. So, young darling, don't get so worked up. You are an actor. You must understand that humor is based on idiosyncrasies. Now, look at the British Queen. People dress up like her. People, even cross dressers dress up like her and make fun of her, make fun of Margaret Thatcher, make fun of Donald Trump. Do they get unhappy? They don't. They're not so uh, small-minded and thin-skinned and come out and rant and rave about it or pursue people so that they have to leave their country just because they make fun of some of our politicians. Look, chill, man. We are all Indians and we sound like Indians. So what is the problem? Peace, baby. Thank you for watching my show and thank you for sending me your comments. Please help me by sending me topics which you like me to speak about or people you like or people you don't like so that I can feature them in my show. 
नमस्ते बेटा